But it's fair to say that Stealth 2 is a pretty incredible lineup, but there is one club in the lineup that I think could be a real game changer for many average golfers. So if I was to list the most difficult shots in golf to execute, it would probably look something like this. Well, I'd start with the long iron shot, then maybe the 200 yarder, the fairway wood off the deck, and then perhaps a tee shot on a tight par four. What if I was to tell you this new addition to that tailor-made lineup? Well, it could be a bit of a game changer. So let me introduce you to the new Stealth HD lineup of Fairway Woods. There's a couple of things that are a bit different about these. The first thing is they are slightly weaker lofted in each of the available types. The second thing is the head shape is also very, very different from what I've seen from TaylorMade in their fairway woods in the past. The question is, why do both those things matter so much? Well, the answer to that question is twofold. First of all, I always favor more loft in my fairway woods, as you well know. So there's a little bit of help with launch there, but that head shape and profile is the real bit, the real key element to this club, in my opinion. And the first thing is obviously they can play CG quite a lot further back than they could do in a traditionally shaped three wood, five wood, fairway wood, whatever you want to call it. So again, that's going to optimize those launch conditions. It's also a much shallower profile. And I've said this on many reviews in the past that for me, when a fairway wood is sitting quite tight to the turf, it just gives me a lot more confidence than it does with something that's a little bit more stubby and uh, bulky at address. So for me, even though this is aimed at the higher handicapper, that shallower face, that shallower profile rather, is really appealing. Like I said, with the um, CG right at the very back, it's only gonna do one thing, and that's help us in terms of launch. I mean, first of all, just look at that launch. That's a five wood. I know we're from a slightly elevated tee position, but that thing just goes into orbit. And like I said, with that CG placement where it is, I know these are aimed at higher handicappers, but for me, this is a club range that could appeal to a number of players looking for different things from the fairway woods. Chris, I've got a question yep. for you. The HD lineup of fairway woods, which is I'm reviewing right now, yep. I think it's fair to say they're probably aimed at kind of high handicapper. Yep. Certainly not yourself anyway. Yep. But over the last few days I've seen you playing a few of them and you've given them absolute ripping them up. What's your thoughts on them from, from a better player's perspective then? I mean, I think again, it's a lot of times people think it has to be for higher handicappers, but for me, ridiculously easy to launch. Again, mm. off-centred hits, much easier to hit. Again, I feel like I'm not losing much distance as no. well, so it doesn't really matter. And what do you think about that flatter profile compared to a, what would you normally play like in your three woods? Yeah, I like that. Very similar to the ping three yeah, woods. Yeah, so again, that. a little bit lower profile, yeah. sits nicer behind the ball. Mm. And for me, just gives me that bit more confidence over it. Yeah. So really, I mean, I've said earlier, I think these could appeal to a wide range of players, far more than they're probably aimed at in terms of tailor-made marketing. Yes, definitely. That's just my shot shape again, just left to right. This is a three wood, which is the most interesting thing. It's also got an incredible ball flight for a three wood. And again, something that I'm not expecting to see from 16 degrees worth of loft. The other interesting fact is it's kind of fair all way. I mean, again, what I can't believe to be quite honest with you is that's a three wood. And the way these things launch again, I suppose, you know, slightly elevated position again so yeah that ball seems to be going into orbit but still you you, you want this is tight round here probably got a little bit more room on this hole to be fair but that's bang center in the fairway i'm never really reaching for a club that i've got ultra confidence in terms of a fairway wood and as not as much as this anyway now three wood for me it's become very much redundant in my bag i've gone for sort of more lofted fairway woods hence the sort of current thing i have in there is a five at the moment but i'd be really tempted to see how these go head to head in terms of the yardage difference and whether or not there's a space for this thing in the bag because whether it be the three or the five honestly these things I really do think they could be a bit of a game changer. Do you know what leaked out? A little bit down the right, the camera's brought that back into the edge of the fairway. So again, look, these are not gonna make everybody all of a sudden become miracle workers in terms of fairway woods. But I said, what are the most difficult shots to play? I said tight par fours. We've seen plenty of them in here, on here rather, that 200 yard shot again, 
off the fairway, tight lies on fairways, all those kind of shots that are so, so difficult to play at our level. And what you want is as much confidence as possible in the club that you try to execute that shot with. And I think that's exactly what this HD lineup do. The bigger size profile inspires a bit of confidence. The CG placement helps in terms of launching the ball. The extra bit of loft on each of these than sort of standard fairway woods. They just do everything they need to do to help us with a shot or a lineup of shots that can be extremely difficult and punishing. So for me, it's a huge thumbs up for this HD lineup. One final uh, message really, I suppose, on these uh, fairway woods is make sure you get custom fit and make sure you try them because for me, they don't do anything like what I would expect them to do in terms of 16 degree loft in the three wood. I think it's in 19 degree on the five wood. So I haven't got dry ball days for this video and I'll do some more extensive testing to give you that information moving forward. But my guess is they maybe don't travel as far, but I'm not even 100% sure on that because all I'm thinking of that kind of launch angle, um, are they gonna carry as far? I don't know, but I'd just be very cautious to make sure you do your homework, try these things out because I think they defy a lot of what you'd expect from these kinds of clubs that you might have in the bag. So don't be looking to just do some straight like for like swaps. Uh, that's my only piece of advice, but overall a superb lineup. And like I've said all along, these are something that can uh, really be a great assistance for something that a lot of us struggle with. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. Bombarded with videos right now, I'm sure. And uh, I appreciate you watching mine and I'll see you all soon. Right, so final thing to say about these HD fairway woods is make sure that you get custom fit or at least do some extents. Well, he's having a go at me, but he's not happy, that bird. Right, quiet.